The City Master 600 is the smallest City Master in our range. It's an articulated unit with a 600 litre capacity hopper. But even though it's an articulated unit, just bear in mind that it doesn't steer as if you're a car towing a trailer. It is a hydraulic ram over here. And that ram pushes back so that when you steer uh, in reverse and you're turning, you operate the vehicle as though you were operating a car, not as if you're operating a car with a trailer or a utility vehicle with a trailer. The unit has got a, um, a lot of features both on the operational side and uh, the, the functional side. It's got two outrigger brims which bring debris into the center so that it can then be picked up with the suction head which is underneath. The suction head is removed without any tools so if you're wanting to change over to for example a mowing head um, you could do so, do so quite easily. Let's have a look at the engine. It's got a three-cylinder Yanmar engine and I'll just uh, we'll pop up the hopper and have a look at the engine underneath. With the hopper which is raised and the safety bar lifted into position we then unlock the cover this just prevents any sort of litter or debris from contaminating the engine exposing the engine so your checks you have your water your oil your dipstick if you would like to top up the oil it's very easily accessible your air filter is there and your hydraulics it's not great to see in the light but the tank indicator is is over there so you can see everything is pretty pretty easy uh, to, to find there is also a rear ax, uh, access panel over here which again is secured so that people can't uh, just fiddle with it you have your battery located over here you have a battery isolation switch all of this is provided as standard and you have a bypass tow valve over here in case the unit ever have to uh, ever have to be towed of course the indication at the bottom does tell you that this unit has a top speed of 25 k's an hour the three-cylinder Yanmar engine, uh, which you just saw, uh, generates about 27 kilowatts, just over, and that's um, plenty of power uh, for this unit. While I've actually got this hopper raised, I'd like you to see that this is the suction hose, and this suction hose goes straight down to the floor. Um, so you can see that there's a direct line uh, going up to the hopper. Um, when the hopper is obviously down, then that pipe will engage this pipe over here so there's no easy way for anything to get jammed in this pipe and if it does you can just push it straight through and let's just show you what those like that look like fingers sticking out at the bottom what those what those are I'd like to show you how, just how simple it is uh, to remove the suction head on a hayco just push down slide that lever across and out comes the and out comes the suction head. Now, water is normally used for dust suppression, and the Heiko City Master is no exception. But what happens is when you have a, the nozzle on the bottom, you've got to remember there's a lot of dust and dirt swirling around under there. If you've got like a high pressure, fine high pressure nozzle, they often get clogged up. So remember when we were looking from the top, we saw these sort of fingers uh, on, the, on the bottom. Well, what this is, is instead of having a fine nozzle, which mists the water and suppresses the, the dust, we have these. We have a large aperture, which allows water flow to come through, but the suction from the vacuum actually create, creates a disturbance, which then manipulates these fingers, which then mists the water in turn. So it's a very simple concept um, to a very uh, sort of perennial problem of blocking up um, fine nozzles underneath at the suction head. It never happens now with a City Master. 
to replace the suction head. We just wrote it back into place. And once again, once again, slide the lever across to the other side and she's locked in place. Let's take a closer look at the hopper. The way that this machine works is that you have two tanks, a freshwater tank right here behind the cab, and then you can use part of the hopper for recycling water, which gets filtered through the sides of the hopper, which I'll show you now, and then runs down through this pipe over here to your suction head that we saw underneath, and then sucks, gets sucked back up uh, your vacuum pipe. The reason for that is that it lubricates this pipe so that if you've got a lot of sand, etc., it doesn't act like sandpaper and perforate this. It always keeps your debris and your sand lubricated um, for longevity of your, your hoses. The other thing which is great on the 600 and on the other City Masters is that you've got like a Pope type uh, connector here. Now, this is just you can plug uh, your hose in there, and what that does is this goes directly to your impeller so to wash your impeller out you don't have to try and get in to the nooks and crannies for the the, the fan that actually does this the, this the suction you can just plug your hose in there and it washes the fan out automatically so let's go to the back of the machine and we'll, we'll pop the hopper up so we just release the, the catches and then the hopper will open automatically once uh, I raise it. Start the machine. Put a button over here. We then have a belly pan. side of the of the hopper so if you look on this on the hopper the material is coming through over here into the hopper this belly plate which I was the orange lever that I, I uh, opened this belly plate is normally closed and the water gets sucked through these screens on the side on either side so the water goes through those screens back into the belly plate and only after it's being filtered, the water that is being filtered, does that water go down into the recycled bay through that pipe over there. So it doesn't allow any big debris to go through, it only allows the, the water as it filters, goes underneath this belly plate which is closed and goes down that pipe then and down to the suction head and so it recirculates all the time. Uh, but you can see that it is very easy to clean out, there's no sort of um, nooks and crannies for any uh, debris to hide. You can have a look quickly here at the, the impeller which sits behind this uh, debris screen. It's a very simple uh, principle. We also have this uh, <coughs> rubber shroud here which prevents contamination of the machine as well as the dirt has been tipped. The dump height is about uh, 1.5 meters so enough to get into uh, most skips. I'm going to now lock the, the belly pan and I'd like you to notice that we make extensive use of solid piping where we can as opposed to a flexible hose just so that um, the maintenance on the machine is minimized as much as possible. At the rear of the machine now the units in Australia uh, are supplied automatically or as standard should I say with these bumpers it's called a comfort and safety kit at the back so if you're backing into a skip and you can nudge them it's not a problem uh, as as you dump although most uh, units will be fitted with a rear camera and the rear camera would sit about there there is also then a comfort step so if your hopper is up like this 
uh, which is your hopper's closed and you want to have a look inside, you can just kick down the step. And there's a grab handle on the side, which you can grab, and then you can look into the hopper if needed. The unit is a four-wheel drive, permanent, so there isn't a gradient that I've ever seen that this unit uh, cannot climb. It literally can climb a ski, a ski ramp. On the front end, you will see that there are quick disconnectors, um, quick connect and disconnectors um, for all the hydraulics and all the functions. So if you're adding a um, mowing attachment, for example, it's no tool. Taking this, uh, the front end off as well requires no tools. The radiator is, uh, is quite large. So you'll never have issues with uh, even in high temperature environments. I think you'll agree that the 600 Sony Master is a fantastic machine. And I suppose the last question that you have in your mind is how easy is it to operate? Well, kit could almost operate. Well, we finally managed to kick Emma out of the cab, so um, I can show you around. So let's have a look around at uh, what the controls are like and the comforts of the cabin. The first thing that you'll notice about a CityMaster 600 cabin is that it's got extremely good visibility. So there's a lot of glass here. Um, luckily, it's got a very good air conditioning system, especially for Australian conditions. And then the seats. We've got um, Anderson seats in here. These are, these are standard, I must emphasize, and they are um, air suspension seats. So in terms of operator comfort, there's nothing to touch it. And if you look at the actual riding position as well, um, because of the great tires that we have on the unit, you're not sitting right on the floor. It feels as though you, you know, you're sitting in a, in a sports car. You've got nice high visibility. Um, from from the seating position and you can easily see once the brush is deployed you can easily see exactly what what you're doing over here the controls are pretty simple and they are well marked so this would be the water how much water you want to have uh, on your brushes and that would be on the suction chute as well these are captain's chairs and you can adjust the height uh, of the armchairs, you've got seat belts as, as well, um, and then your controls. Uh, on the steering, you can adjust your throttle. You've got your window washer uh, and your horn and your um, indicators on, on the stalk. On the bottom over here, you have uh, a, a flap. So if you've got massive amount of leaves. You can hold it and it opens up the flap on the suction head to allow all the leaves to come through. You've then got a brake and a park brake which is integrated. And then over on this side you've got forward and back. So very sort of simple oper op operation. I'm just going to swing around to, to the right hand side. So right hand side is where I would lower and, and uh, raise my hopper. And then the armrest over here is kind of where it all happens. So you have your um, your controller, like you have in a BMW, an Audi, or a Mercedes, or lots of cars now. And that controller is uh, connected, obviously, to the screen. I'm not sure how well you can see it on, on the film, but you can switch between uh, different screens. You can adjust your brush speed, you can uh, uh, switch your fan on and off, and you can adjust your, your water spray as well. All of that is controlled. You can see how much fuel there is. You can see if there's uh, your hydraulic oil um, and the hours um, that, that, that you've been running. And so that is configurable. And if you click, you can go in the, into separate screens. Up here is your lights, everything well, well sort of signed. And over there would be your air conditioning unit, which again is, is standard. 
With regards to the controls, although you can make, make all those adjustments on the settings related to the, the screen, all you really need to know is the screen button. And the nice thing about that is, I'll just slip down here so you can see through the window outside, but that DIN plug, the red one on the right hand side, that is what tells the machine what is actually on the front. So currently we've got it with the sweepers, with the, the, the twin sweepers, uh, sweeping brushes on the front. But if you have, for example, a mower attachment, the, the machine will automatically change the settings up there because it recognizes what is on the front of the machine. and It will then act accordingly. Why does that matter? Well, just going to start her up. And it's a pretty quiet, a pretty quiet cabin. It's just a bit of a warm day, so I had the aircon on full. But if that, if you hear any background noise, this this here is the um, that's the green button. So if I press that green button, you will see that it changes. I'll just do that again, so you can see when the the vehicle appears in the screen. That's that is in transport mode, and that'll give me 25 k's an hour. If I press press the green button. The brushes drop down, everything happens, and will then display uh, a display relevant to whatever I'm doing. I'm currently in eco mode over there, which is great for 90% of jobs, but I can boost that power up and boost the RPM and the suction of the fan all the way up to 2600 uh, RPM, but that's never needed, almost never, 99% uh, of all operations can be conducted in eco mode and then this joystick over here as I move forward controls the brushes pulls the brushes in and out if you can see that and when I'm finished operating I simply press the green button and everything comes up my vacuum fan switches off and it's all happy days. In terms of the steering, the console here is adjustable for the comfort of the operator, so it can move uh, back and forth, and obviously the seat as well. But I want to show you what I mean with regards to the ease of drive, even with the articulation. To show you how good this unit is and how the rear tracks in the same track as the front wheel. I'm going to put my phone right next to the, the front wheel and then I'm going to turn as sharply as I can and you will see that the rear wheel tracks exactly the same distance as the front wheel. So in other words if you've passed something with your front wheel you don't have to look at your backside at all. It's not going to creep in or swing any closer or wider than you already were. So that's the CityMaster 600. It's the smallest and probably the most underestimated and underrated unit in our fleet. If you need any further information, go to heykaustralia.com.au or contact any of your local team for support. Thanks again. Bye.